you can't go wrong with Now It's Dark. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim. Today I have a kind of a quick haul for you. I've been trying to do like a monthly haul video for Scooby-Doo items that I've been picking up randomly at thrift stores. And uh, I've got a little collection of a few things. Um, I'm kind of late in the game. I did collect Scooby-Doo years ago, sold that collection, and... Scooby-Doo wasn't necessarily a priority for me to start recollecting until just recently. So uh, primarily because I've switched to only collecting VHS tapes uh, for physical media. So um, in that, I started coming across a lot of Scooby-Doo VHS tapes, and I do have a few today to show. Um, and then that's what compelled me to, why don't I start picking up other Scooby-Doo items as well? So this is a uh, fast food uh, toy item of Fred. It's like a bobblehead. Um, I have a couple of the other characters. Hopefully I'll get a full set. Um, kind of a fun uh, figure, bobblehead. I don't know what you want to call it, but um, Fred and the Scooby gang also had a series of action figures. I don't think this is necessarily very old. It's got a lot of articulation in it. Very classic look for uh, Fred. Scooby-Doo is a property that uh, does not seem to have any end times. Uh, I think Scooby-Doo is a, a cartoon uh, and a set of characters that can easily just keep transitioning to modern times, and if you just look at the, the variety of different cartoons and the sheer number of movies, um, this is, of course is the iconic mystery machine. I'm not sure if this was some sort of a fast food toy. I can't really read on the bottom, but I think this might have also been some sort of a uh, fast food thing. It, it doesn't go together, but we have a uh, villain and it's attached through rope uh, from his PP. There's a, a rope coming out of his PP into Scooby's uh, anal orifice and uh, then Scooby has coming out of his chest this rope. So I don't know if it's like some sort of a dangler. I, I don't know like how this would work. I may just cut the ropes uh, from the PP and maybe stand these up separately. I also did pick up at Five Below these little capsules of um, Scooby-Doo Tiny Mites. And there's a whole series of figures inside here. After I show these last couple of items, we're going to open these up and see what characters we got. Hopefully some of the creatures and the monsters. Here's a classic item. Everybody knows Pez dispensers. Here's a Scooby Pez. Not terribly old, but it's in great shape. It's got the color, um, fun. It's got the feet attached. So I'll add that to the display. And I have picked up a copy of Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleash. If you did not know this, this is a James Gunn film. If you're a fan of DC Comics, James Gunn, as you know, is operating just about everything and uh yeah so um i was a fan of the first two scooby-doo movies with sarah michelle geller and that whole cast uh i think did a great job and those were fun fun movies for me they've made several live action since and uh, they just haven't done the same thing for me so i've got some vhs tapes that i picked up at savers and goodwill uh, both uh, big thrift stores in my city. Uh, what is this one? Scooby-Doo. What's new Scooby-Doo Volume 2? Safari. So good. So this is four fantastic adventures from the hit TV series. So this is kind of like a compilation of different titles. Uh, the three episodes from Season 1 are It's Mean, It's Green, It's the Mystery Machine. Riva Ross Regis, I see what they did there. Roller coaster ride and Safari so good. So that is four things that I said there. But 
Uh, anyways, kind of a fun thing. Big old clam shells take up a lot of space on the shelf. Makes it difficult to display VHS tapes when they're in the clam shells, but that is what it is. So now we have what's new Scooby Doo Space Ape at the Cape. This also is a compilation of four fantastic mystery adventures. I love, I, I don't know, I do love VHS so much. Um, with, uh, with the exception of like that Scooby Doo 2 DVD, I'm not purchasing Blu rays and DVDs anymore. I'm just strictly going for VHS. And some of it's because of the budgetary restraints I have. I'd like to buy other collectibles and things. Um, so to buy movies that I end up watching on streaming services anyways doesn't, uh, for me, uh, make sense to buy them. I definitely understand the appeal of buying and owning physical copies. So I'm, I'm not in any way saying that people shouldn't do that because I definitely, as a collector, understand. This is a uh, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase movie. Um, I think this is a... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I remember this one. I can't remember if they get digitized and are in, like, computer, in the internet. But there it is. And so that's Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. Um, and I think all three of these, if you've watched my Scooby-Doo hauls in the past, you'll, you'll know that I frequently by accident repurchase multiple copies of the same <laughs> VHS tapes. Uh, what I do with them though, is I'll, I, I'll assess the uh, condition of the clamshells because these do damage rel relatively easy, uh, particularly when they're older too. And uh, just also my traditional pro tip, if you're buying clamshell VHS tapes that are damaged, usually these are only a dollar or a dollar 99, just pick up some other Disney movie that you may not care about and just reuse the clamshell itself. Take the slip cover out and whatnot. All right, so we're going to open up five of these Scooby Doo tiny mites and see what characters we get. And hopefully they are cool. Now, I did buy these at five below. They were very inexpensive because I ended up buying five of them. So I'm thinking, if I remember correctly, they were they were like two bucks a piece. All right, so here's our first character out. Okay, so this is looks like one of the villains. I can't remember. It looks like it might be. Oh, let me know in the comments down below who this looks like it is to you. I do recognize it, but I think the coloring is throwing it off for me. It's the robot, um, you know, bad guy, bad the villain. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, too. What, what, what are your feelings about Scooby-Doo uh, in general? Like, are you a old-school fan? Uh, oh, this one's kind of translucent. Okay, that's cool. I like to look at that translucent. This looks to me like it was the uh, underwater um, guy. So that's cool. I don't know if that's a uh, like a some sort of a uh, variant or like a rare piece. I don't know if I have a. Yeah, it's not going to glow with all this light on. But anyway, that's kind of cool. That's like that old diving suit looking villain. All right, let's go into the next one. Egg number three. Oh, uh, this is the minor 49er. I think might have been the episode title of that. Um, all right, that's okay. So far, I'm, I'm on a roll here with all villains, though. My fear of getting any of the Scooby gang themselves is that if I get one, I'm going to want the whole, you know, the whole gang. Ooh, this one's really cool. 
Um, looks like the Scream Ghost. I do recognize this one, though, and I think it was more of like a blue, green, if I'm remembering correctly. I, I don't know how I feel about the uh, solid color, but you know what? These do remind me of the gumball machine uh, style um, toys. I don't know if you're, of, if you're old enough, if you remember gumball machines uh, started transitioning from just candy into having like the little, you know, plastic balls that had the toy inside. And this reminds me of something that that would have been of. Okay. So this looks like a uh, pirate ghost. I do know that that was an episode early on in the, in the series of cartoons. I don't think the detail shows very well because of the color, but I mean, you can see there's definitely face and expression and there is detail that you just can't see, at least with my vision. Like, you can see the skull and crossbones and stuff. But, you know, I might pick up more of those. I think I got lucky with getting five completely different characters. You you can sort of see through if you want to look. Um, and, and you can see at least the colors. Uh, so maybe you can try not to pick up doubles as well. These were at five below. Like I said, I think they might have only been $1.99 or something like that. That's it for this month's Scooby-Doo haul. Please keep checking back to the channel for more great stuff.